Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're going to go ahead and finish up our install from yesterday by putting in a Zoller M5, uh, excuse me, a Zoller M98. This is a, a one half horsepower pump, and <clears throat> this thing's capable of grinding up, you know, small solids up to a half an inch in diameter. And no special tools required. Same as the M53. Basically, start off with your male threaded inch and a half adapter. Screw that in there, hand tight, make sure it gets threaded in there. Real good and hand tight. I've already cut the pieces to length here. What we need is a piece of pipe to get above the bar. I've already got the check valve. Remember that there's an arrow that tells you which way the water flows. We're gonna glue this in place. Let's do that right now. Good amount of glue, it's going to set up right away. Push down in and hold for just a second. That's ready to go. You'll notice down in the pit that I've already put a no hub here. And basically what that is, we'll take it off of here, is so that they, if you ever have a problem with your pump, basically we can come back and undo this coupling and we'll be in good shape. So let's go ahead and tighten that up. Be easy to replace, basically. Nice and tight. Next, we need to drill a little relief hole right there. Little 3 16 inch hole. All the pump manufacturers are suggesting this. Whoops. Sometimes it comes off, huh? So we've got our pressure relief. Now we can set the pump down in. Basically, we're going to have another little small insert that's going to hook onto our 90, which will hook all that up together. Um, do you see another clamp? Got it. Got to have the other clamp for that. Let's set it down in there. This pump's pretty heavy, but should be just fine. What we want to do is you know, just set it up so that we can get all the pieces together. Let's go ahead and put our little tiny insert in here. And let's screw that on. Slide the clamp up onto the fitting. Maybe a little bit more. Damn it. There we go. Now we can tighten that down on there. Just as tight as your drill will make it. Got the other one tight. And finally what we're going to do is go ahead and slide our you know, coupling on here, the 90 degree turn. And we'll hook all that up. So let's glue up some pieces. We'll start on the pump itself because that it's movable. Perfect. Now we're going to hook it right up to our pipe. I'm going to loosen this up a little bit so that we have a little bit of play here. We're going to go ahead and glue this fitting up around both sides. Get a little bit more on there. Remember, this glue sets up almost instantly. Slide it on, let it set, and we're all set. We're going to tighten this piece up, tighten up our no hub, both sides. And we're done. So one thing we're going to do now, you, you, this comes, this comes with a, I think it's an 11 foot cord, and he's waiting on the electrician who's going to put a uh, GFI up here on the wall. But we've got an extension cord ready for him to go. So even though that pump probably weighs about 60 pounds, maybe 50 pounds, we still like to 
put some weight on top of our pet. Remember we perforated it and all those things, but enough, if enough water rushes down underneath the pet, it acts like a boat and it will try to lift itself up out of there. Uh, if you think about you know, a ship or even your small canoe, it holds a lot of weight. Um, so it can easily float up. But by doing all this, it will help it. And of course it will you know, pack itself in in just a few days after it rains. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.